welcome to my nature diaries. Well, where I live, we have been having some beautiful mild fall weather and we were out on a couple of recent hikes and we discovered so many crazy, beautiful wildflowers. And these are the last flowers of the season. So I wanted to make sure I included them in this week's entry of my nature diaries. We're gonna really focus on these simple shapes. And this golden rod has these triangular shapes and I'm going to um, just go ahead and put them in on this left-hand side of my uh, journal here. And I'm gonna be using this lemon yellow and just layering the lemon. So we'll start with this light lemon yellow and then I go to a cad cadmium yellow and then eventually I will be moving on to uh, a yellow ochre but before that I wanted to go ahead and just put some color in the background and this is the yellow ochre and we're going to be just adding now um, the final layer of watercolors on these um, goldenrod flowers to add depth next we are going to be just adding the greens for the stems and leaves of goldenrod and this other plant and you can see I have sap green over here and some magenta and um, ultramarine blue. Just going in, filling in those little details. And I will be using a pen, ink pen, to just help define a lot of the shapes of the plant as well. I'm moving on to this next plant and it is not a flower, but it's actually American pokeweed. And it's really well known because of the, the berries. They look grape-like to me and the magenta stems that it has on it and it's really like a majestic plant it was like five feet tall and just was just hanging over the trail and i had to include it in this entry uh, because it was so unique and i wanted to learn more about it and i want to invite you um, when you are out and about to yeah document draw take a photo and look up these plants that are so interesting put them maybe in some kind of nature diary that you might have as well. And then I am finished on the left hand side and we're going to move all the way over to the right, finish with these flowers here. And this flower is called wing stem because it has some uh, interesting edges on the main stalks that look like wings. But I was really attracted to the flowers themselves and I wanted to put them in my nature diary. And I just, I put a wash down and then I decided that I wanted to just put yellow in the background. So I'm, I'm just blending everything out like you can see here. So next I went back over with some brighter yellow. I think it's a lemon yellow and just went over the flowers to just help them to stand out against that yellow background. So I went ahead and colored in the leaves and I'm using sap green just to add some green touches to the flower head itself. Now I'm going to bring out the dip pen and my super black Kuretake waterproof ink and I'm going to just ink in some details and this is optional for you uh, but I really like how it just stands out makes the illustrations uh, pop out even more um, in my nature diaries right here on these flowers I'm just going to use a variety of hash marks with my dip pen and I'm just going to kind of just allude to the fact that there are little flowers or florets on each part of the stalks of these plants and I just thought this was just a, an easier way to represent goldenrod without me having to make it super realistic or detailed and it gives me a great idea of what the plant would look like and I think it translates well for somebody else too. I'm going to finish up now inking these flowers called wing stem and one of the things I like to do is I like to add distinguishing features I like to emphasize them when I'm putting something in my nature journal and these little cup shapes that are on the flower heads were really um, they attention grabbing and the bees were all over them so I just imagine they were full of nectar like little teacups of nectar for the bees to um, get their last fill before winter hits.
Now we're getting to the actual diary part in my nature journal. And I'm gonna be using this um, Windsor & Newton uh, Ultramarine Blue, and it's like a calligraphy ink that's supposed to be waterproof as well. And I am um, just gonna write down some different things that I know about these plants that I learned from reading about them, or I actually heard some just different random facts about them and also my observations and I really again if you haven't um, watched before I do really enjoy this part because it's just um, a great way to include some information about this plant so I can use it for my own reference or somebody else hopefully can use it as well. I would just like to take a moment and invite you, if you are not a subscriber, to hit that subscribe button and to follow me as I am completing this nature journal and you know going through the different seasons and just recording all my discoveries. I really appreciate those of you um, with your likes and your comments. And thank you so much for sharing these videos. It means so much to me. I can't even tell you to have finally gotten this channel um, together and with content that I really love myself and I'm just excited from where I'm gonna go from here. So thank you so much in advance if you have subscribed. I'd love to hear what the weather is like where you're at. Um, are you having fall weather or maybe you're having spring or summer? I'd love to hear, let me know in the comments below. So we finish up with this spread and again, I love how it turned out. It's such a fun way again to learn about three different plants in one entry. And I hope you've enjoyed this as well. As I get ready to finish out this entry in my nature diary, I hope that you are doing well wherever you're at and you're healthy and you're happy and you've been able to take a little break with me with this art and I hope you're making art too. It's so important to be creative and to create and I tell you there's nothing so inspiring to me at least as the nature around me outside and maybe just on your outside your windowsill or on your desk with a plant or a flower. In the meantime just remember that you are amazing and creative and I hope you can join me for my next entry. And so until then, we will see you next time. Bye.